Hello, my name is Marion. I am going to show you the physics or physical components behind a mammography machine. I have been working on the mammography registry review. If you have been checking out my videos, if not, you can check out my mammography registry review playlist. Uh, for this video, this is the detector. This is where the breast fit, one breast at a time. We have our compression paddle. This is what is going to come down to squeeze the patient breast. And then you have your face shield. This is going to stay right here so that the patient's head do not get in the picture whenever they lean in. These are the knobs. It can go down. You can bring it back up. And then this show how many pounds you are squeezing on the patient's breast. And then the sid that I was talking about, that's the sid right there. This one is at 70 centimeters. And then this filter AG is silver. And then it also shows what compression powder you have. Right here, 24 by 29. And then you also have little pictures right here. It showed that the face shield go right here. If a patient has to come back for a diagnostic mammogram and have to use the calcification paddle or for calcification, then the calcification magnification stand will fit right here. These are some buttons. You can turn on the laser light with that button or turn it off. And then right here, you can collimate. I normally do not mess with this button because the paddle automatically collimates the breast size because we have different paddles in mammography. Right here, you can turn the machine and then turn it back. And then you can also bring the paddle, compression paddle, up or down. And then you have your foot paddle on the floor. Or you can bring the machine up. You can bring the machine down. You can compress the patient's breast, or you can bring it back up. And then I will show you how to turn the machine in just a second. Okay, to turn the machine, it goes this way, or it can go at a 90 degree angle to the side like this. And then you can bring it back. This is at a 45 degree angle. And then you can also bring it the other way. And then bring it back. The face shield, you can move it back or move it forward. This paddle does come off. And then this is your large paddle. And then right here is a 24 by 29. If you can see that. And then I will put it back. Then I have more paddles I will show you. This is for like a smaller type breast. And then you can see right here, it's at 18 by 24 centimeters. If a patient has very small breasts, you can use this. And then you can also use your spatula. All right, so this is how the actual machine will look. Right here, it will show what the patient's having done. It will let you know when you're ready. And then the patient's information, like their name, patient ID number, date of birth, will be right here. So make sure this is correct. And then right here, this is what I was telling you all, how you see a KVP, it's at 39, but the mass is set to just um, AEC. So it will automatically adjust the mass um, with this setting. And then for your filter, you can see it right here. And then um, 
This is how many pounds you're giving the patient, how thick the breast is, what paddle size you have. And the paddle size right here is showing what paddle size the collimation is set at. Then right here, you see um, your different pictures that you have to do. Your CC, your MLO. And then um, if you want to add a procedure or, um, well, let's add a view. First, let's add a view. So these are the different views, like the complementary view. If you cannot get it all on um, one picture, then you can do like an XCCL. And I just hit conventional right here. Where's they see of the your LMLO, especially if you need to get more IML. And then, so these are just different options you can choose on why you're repeating it for a nipping profile for IML. So once you get everything set, and then you can hit the trash can if you do not want that, or you can hit back, or you can hit add, you can hit even hit clear. So let me just hit back. And then to add a procedure like for implants, you can go right there. And then you have different settings. And then I just hit implant. Uh oh, let's see. Okay. And then implant option C, implant screening. So normally for a CC, we do those at manual. And then that's when you can adjust your mass if needed. And this is a different filter for this one. So your rhodium filter. And then it will stay like this. So for your combo, this is going to be set with the automatic with AEC filter. So no mass setting for that one. And you see how the filter change. Um, but that's it for this review. Um, if you want me to do more videos like this, feel free to give it a thumbs up. And also, if you're not doing a patient with implants or if you're doing a picture without the implants, you can unselect that. And if you're doing it, uh, an image with implants, you can keep it selected. All right. Thank you all for watching this video. I will see you all in the next one. Bye.